What's going on, my fellow collectors? I'm back with another video, guys. And as you can see, you see this superb masterpiece. Yes, it's amazing coming from Hot Toys. Look at the beautiful paint applications, the awesome design of the Iron Monger. It's all there, guys. Hot Toys has finally done it. This is like damn near, what, three years in the makings, guys? I remember when I first got into collecting Hot Toy figures, people was talking about, yo, make an Iron Monger Hot Toys. We need one bad. And now we have one. But it costs so much money guys come on now four hundred and thirty dollars is the cheapest you're going to be paying for this bad boy here i mean when does it stop i mean are you know are we doomed to figures going to be getting to the price of 290 to then 300 dollars is that where our basic 12 inch action figure is going to I mean it, I haven't seen nothing that spectacular on an action figure to be making it worth $250 I mean and that's the price basically going for these new DX figures the Batman you know the new DX Joker and everything and it's too damn high you know like come on you're not getting two figures in one you're getting one figure you know, and that's basically what this is. This is one figure. One massive size figure. You know, yeah, it's 18 inches. Yeah, it's about the size of three or two figures in one by the big bulk of the armor and everything. But, come on, you've done that before, Hot Toys. You made an alien power loader that, you know, was massive in size. And that figure was nowhere near 400 bucks. You know, and that was only a couple years ago. So you're going damn near double in your pricing. Come on, you're going damn near double in your pricing for your regular 12 inch action figure. That's crazy. That's crazy. And all I'm saying is guys, I really do want this figure. You know, I'm one of the biggest Iron Man buffs in the world. You know, I have just about every Iron Man figure that came out since the mo mo uh, Iron Man 3 movie and up until the Iron Man 2 movie, but this right here is, is, is insane and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it now it's possibly I'll get it but stay tuned I'll tell you why what's going on collectors uh, you just seen the the uh, video that I just did showing the clips well the, fo uh, the photos of the Iron Monger which is just badass it's one amazing uh, action figure guys I gotta admit, <laughs> it's, it's banging, <laughs> but $430 though banging, I don't think so, and that's why I was saying I may be missing out on that figure, not because I can't afford it, not because, um, you know, it, it, it's high in price, it's just that sometimes we gotta put our foot down and say enough is enough. And I can't do it alone. Whereas if you collectors was out there was willing to make videos like this video that I'm doing, uh, you know, post them on Facebook so we can be a voice and be heard by Hot Toys because as you can see, I have tons of figures right here, kind of like a, a timeline of the price changing of figures. As you can see, I mean, Starting up there in the front, I don't know if you guys can see that, we have the Marcus Wright. This figure retailed at about uh, 130 to 150 at the most. And as you can see, he comes with tons of his stuff. He comes with extra head sculpts, extra clothing, um, rubber arms with a mechanical type of uh, cybernetic arm and everything. And I had no problem with paying that type of money. Well, it's kind of expensive for a toy, an action figure, a 1-6 collectible, but, you know, we dealt with it. So, that's that figure right here. Now here you have the Blade figure, another amazing figure by Hot Toys. Um, amazing accessories, retailed about 130 to 150 It was expensive, but we did it, you know what I mean? We got by and we're like, okay, you know, Hot Toys is, you know, they're getting kind of expensive. But we did. We paid for these figures, and we got them. 
Alrighty, then we have the DX Joker and the DX Batman. You know, again, amazing figures. They're DXs. They're something new. They have the eye rolling system. You know, something that Hot Toys haven't been doing before. You can get the Joker as cheap as 135 retail. I mean, uh, Urban Collectors had them as much as 132, 175 at the most. You've seen the DX Joker for 175 is kind of steep, but you got a lot of stuff. You got extra uh, the police uniform with the extra head scope and you know and just a lot of accessories that came with this figure. One of the best hot toys you can own. We did that. So then you have the the Batman DX and we have the T1000 that just came out recently. This figure comes with two hand scopes, police um, uniform, helmet, tons of accessories. I mean he's freaking loaded with accessories. Why was this figure retailing at $135. I don't know. I'm expecting it's going to be like $180 compared to how Hot Toys prices was, but it was $135 retail. We did it. We was happy with that price. You know, and now you're getting into VX Bruce Lee's who's, you know, retailing for $188 to $200 or something dollars, and the price is just going crazy. You got the, uh, What's this, the Secret Project Mark IV, 209? What? What's going on? You got the, the War Machine, 185 to $200. You got the Mark VI to $200 to 225 retailing. And then you got the Mark IV, that's 180 to 200 to $225. What's going on with these prices? Hot Toys figures are about to be at $300. That's crazy. I mean... This figure is not worth $209 for one that's not even painted. Two, you take away some of the accessories that it came with, and, you know, it's not worth it. It's falling apart. It's bad, poor quality, and I'm hearing a lot of people have problems with this Mark IV. It's nowhere near as good as the Mark IV right here that's painted and, you know, and comes with a little more stuff and everything, so... What's going on with these prices, Hot Toys? I mean, us collectors, we're getting tired. I'm very tired of paying all these crazy-ass prices. And I guess some people are saying, well, what the fuck? Get the hell out. Stop collecting Hot Toys. And that's where I'm headed at, guys. I'm a very passionate con uh, uh, collector. You know, I love this hobby. But it's a shame I'm getting forced out by some ridiculous prices. So, if you guys want to stand together, make videos like this, guys. Make videos like this, post them on Facebook, post them on YouTube. We got to get our point across, and the Hot Toys got to realize they can't just fucking push us around. Thanks for watching, Collectors. I'm signing out. Peace!